How's it going PC Nation? Welcome back to a brand new video. This video has been a while in the making. So, if you haven't noticed, a month ago I made a video called Why Was Germany Blamed for World War I? And, part one. And there, that was a part, uh, I did not lie, there will be a part two to this. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen of NPC Nation. This is part two of why Germany was blamed for World War I. So last time I said I would talk about the Treaty of Versailles, and that's what we're going to talk about first. So the Treaty of Versailles, when it was signed, everyone that was involved, all the allied powers and all that, they got everything. Germany got fucked, okay? First, let's talk about this. Germany had to pay, pay billions and billions of money to the Allies. That's why Germany went into the Great Depression first. Because they had to pay so much money to the Allies and so much money to all countries, actually, that was, you know, not on their side. And the countries that were actually weren't on their side but were on their side World War II, Italy and Japan didn't get nothing. Even though they fought in World War One, all the big countries got something. Like Europe uh not Europe. Britain, like France and the United States even got stuff when I mean, we didn't enter into the end of the war. Okay? Close to the end of the war, like nineteen seventeen. We didn't enter into nineteen seventeen. So, first off, the United States really shouldn't got any, we shouldn't really got anything, but that's how the Treaty of Versailles was. I guess whoever fought in it got stuff, but Japan and Italy didn't get nothing. That's why they switched sides in World War II. But we're not going to talk about World War II. I like to do, by the way, if you don't know why I'm talking about uh, World War I, because I love history, I would really do, and I always want to do history type videos, and... I loved w learning about the world wars. I love all types of history. I know a lot about history, and that's why I want to do this video. So that's if you're confused why I'm talking about World War One, because I love history and the world wars are very interesting, especially after they ended. What happened after they ended? Wow. Basically, World War One basically caused World War Two. And this is why it caused World War II. So, after the Treaty of Versailles was all signed, the war was over, right? Yes. But the thing is, Germany got fucked. They had to give up their territories in China to the Allies. They had to give up a bunch of other territories they owned. They had to give up land to Czechoslovakia, the Rhineland. That's what was invaded in Germany. Germany invaded the Rhineland. And they got it back <coughs> before the start of war, before the start of World War II, when Hitler invaded the Rhineland in the 1930s to get the Rhine back to Germany, which they lost because of the Treaty of Versailles. Also, but that's for a future video, World War II. I, I don't know. I'll make a World War II video maybe. Also, it, after war in Treaty of Versailles, Germany had to demilitarize. So they had to, they had a great, they had a good army. Okay, they had a great army in World War One. It was a huge, huge army, huge deal, a really strong army. I'm not gonna say, you know, Germany didn't do their what they got, but they didn't really start World War One because if you didn't watch my last video, I talked about. Austria declared war the same day Franz Ferdinand got assassinated. Germany was the first one. Austria didn't uh, mobilize their army until after Germany mobilized. So Germany did technically mobilize first, but Austria is the one who declared war first. So after the Treaty of Versailles was signed and all that, Germany had to demilitarize. They had to pay billions of dollars in rations, like... In today's money, it would be like billions of dollars, millions of dollars in uh, money, war debt. Everyone, lo everyone became like really unemployed, and they had. In the Great Depression, Germany started, 
in after World War One because they had no voice and they had no one to turn to. Like really, the Treaty of Versailles made everyone in Germany like really depressed because that's why it's a act. It was an actual depression, like a depression of values and goods and German values. They were they were depressed because their country was just sh- just shrank from a great empire to nothing. And there was someone to blame, like Kaiser Wilhelm II, who was in charge of German troops at the time, but he wasn't the like leader of Germany, but he was the leader of the troops. He's all gone. He he left the country. He I think he yeah, he left after World War One. But one thing is to get back from this, back to circle from the Treaty of Versailles, how the Treaty of Versailles circles around. And starts another world war. Because Germany's hungry. They have no food. They lost a lot of food. They lost a lot of money. So they can't buy. F- the government can't provide for food. Agriculturally wise. Can't provide for food. A lot of people lost their land. A lot of fi- farmers lost their land. A lot of people lost their jobs. They're out of money. They can't provide for their families. So actual Great Depression in Germany starts around the, after World War One happens because all their money has to go to the, which they don't pay off the rations into like close World War Two. They keep paying it off, so they all the government's money has to go to the Allies at this point. So they have no money. They have no money. So Germany's over here, right? Pretend I'm looking because I'm going to be looking over here. For example, so Germany, Germany's like over there, and they're paying the money, and they're starving, and they want a voice. And Adolf, who rises to the top and becomes the Fuhrer of Germany, we all know this in World War II era, he becomes the voice because the Treaty of Versailles, because he, because he wanted the Germans to understand. Treaty of Versailles fucked them. That's what he wanted to understand. That's what he wanted to tell them. The Treaty of Versailles. Gave us nothing and gave them everything. Gave them everything. The Allies, everything. They got everything handed to them because of this treaty. The Allies got a lot of things handed to them. Billions of dollars of German money handed to them. Because Germany got screwed over in this deal. Even Italy and Japan got screwed over even though they were on the winning side. That's why they joined Germany in World War II. But the thing is, Germany got more fucked over than anybody. Like, Austria didn't really get... Austria's... The only thing that happened in Austria, their empire shrunk. That's pretty much it. A bunch of countries became independent. But Austria didn't really get fucked over that much. Like... Germany got screwed over the most because they had to pay billions of dollars, which didn't pay off until years later. After, like, World War I and World War II. They lost so much land that was theirs originally that was not even given to them. That was just theirs. They lost it. Territories, they lost that. Territories that they earned, that they got, they lost that. They lost so much. Uh, I know World War I lost so many people, but Germany lost so much in their land. Am I for Germany in World War One? I'm not for anybody. I'm not on anyone's side. It's a war. War war is bad. But what the thing is, Germany's still being Germany to this day was well after World War One, they blame Germany for starting the war because they're the first to uh militarize like march start uh arming their army, you know. But they didn't really cause the war. Austria didn't really cause the war either. The assassination of Franz Ferdinand did, but Austria is the first to declare war, but they're not the first to actually get their army ready, you know? I forgot what the word was. I just said it earlier, didn't I? What, uh... Well, I forgot it because you know I'm I'm just thinking about other I'm thinking about a lot of things trying to explain 
history. So, if you don't, if you have never studied the Treaty of Versailles, which a lot of people have, because it's a famous treaty, because it's what ended World War One. It starts with like this: give us everything, give us billions and billions of dollars, and you get nothing. We even going to take away your land that you owned and give it to Czechoslovakia. At the time, it was Czechoslovakia, not Czech Republic. So they gave, they had to split the Rhineland, which was theirs to begin with, and they had to split up land that they already had territories. They had to give those to the Allied powers. They lost so much stuff because all that territories, they that's where they got all their like most of their because you could get food from there. They got a bunch of food from China, the Chinese territories that they owned, that they got. So those territories have to be given back, have to been ta- it was taken away, because you know, demilitarized their army and all that army shrank. So Germany was blamed for all this. I know they were on the losing side, but and the first one to uh, have a, their their army ready. But they're not the first one to declare war. They declared war after Austria declared war. The thing is with this, that Germany at the long end of the Treaty of Versailles, no one was satisfied, but everyone except Germany gained something. The Allies gained money, which made Germany even more mad and made them go into a depression and made them lose so much food. People were starving. And it was awful. The treaty could have been better for both sides, they could have, like, okay, you can, we gotta take just a couple territories, you don't have to pay nothing, just, because you guys need food, okay, food is important, but hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, press the share button, press the like button, and press the red shiny subscribe button, press the bell so notified every time I upload a video, and what's your guys' opinion on the Treaty of Versailles, was it actually that bad, I just did some research, I actually went on history.com, did this research about some of the stuff I learned. Well, I already knew about the Treaty of Versailles, but I made sure I did my research to get it right. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is going up on Thursday. This was recorded on Tuesday. But it will be going up on Thursday. See you guys later.